In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to now render from multiple camera views that you might have set up in your scene. Uh, so right now, what I have is I have some different uh, cameras. So I've got one, two, three cameras set up right now. Um, and I'll probably set up some more later too. So first off, I want to render from this first one right here. Uh, so to do that, uh, if I go over and press uh, zero on my number pad or view, and go to camera. First off, that's not pointing to the right camera. So to make that go to the right camera, what I need to do is have it selected and go to view, camera, set to active. So now it's ready to render from that camera. So, but before I do that, I don't need to render out all this stuff. So I'm just gonna render from about where I see the truck. So maybe go right about there. So it looks like 90. So my start point is gonna be 90. And my end point, Looks like it goes through and then maybe give it a minute or a second, 130. That way I don't have to render as much as I would have to. Uh, so once I've done that, then I can go ahead and render it out. But before I do that, make sure uh, you go to the camera icon and then you go ahead and choose your output. So right now this is a temporary file that you are not going to find. So change that to maybe go to the desktop somewhere that's easy to find. And then I would also suggest uh, giving it a name. So uh, maybe this is camera one, especially if you have multiple shots because then you won't go over the top of the other ones. And then I'm also going to change it from PNG to a QuickTime. That's kind of a preference, but this will condense all of it so I don't have all these single images. So go ahead and save it real quick and then click render and uh, render animation, and that'll start the process. Uh, if you, at any time you find that it's not to your liking, you can always go in and press escape and quit it, and then you can re-render. Like right now, I've got some bad lighting on here. I should go re-light some things uh, so I don't have these harsh black shadows and stuff, uh, but that's something you can kind of go through on your own. So when it gets done, up here it shows you how many frames you're on, and when it stops and looks like it's frozen, like right here, uh, to get out of that, you just press escape. And then somewhere on your desktop, you will have a little icon that is your video, and you can play that. Go play it and then check it out. So once that one's done, now I'll just go do my next one. So let's do this one now. So I'll just grab that one. And first off, I've got to go to view, camera, and set that one to the active now. So now that one's the active piece. So on this one, I want it to capture for a little bit longer. So I'm going to have it maybe captured from that same point of view, but I'm going to extend it out to maybe 200 um, and go from there. And maybe even maybe I'll just go out to the max, 250 um, on that one. Okay, so now before I render it out, it's important because right now if I were to render it out, it might go over the top of the other one. Uh, I don't think it will, but just in case, um, go to the outputs again. So you're on this camera icon. Um, and right here, the output, I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to name this camera 3. So this will be the actual file for camera 2. This will be the actual file that uh, it saves it as. So accept that. And then from there, it's already quick time, so I'll go with that. And then just go to render and render animation and then just wait for that to get done and you'll have a nice little end there before. And that's how you render out from different points of view. Once this gets done, you would kind of do the, you select the other camera and do it from that one too.